All right, we ready? I'm ready. Lock all 10, you ready? Yes, sir, I got it. All right, let's go, guys. You got this. You're probably wondering what's going on. Well, this is me and my friends raiding one of the biggest clan bases on the server, and I'm about to share with you a story not only how we raided it, but how we pulled off one of our greatest heists in DayZ. But for this story to make sense, we're going to have to start from the very beginning. And that's where everyone starts on DayZ out the coast, with nothing but some rags a bit of food, and maybe a knife. Right. Another day, boys. Restarting. Now, it's important you know, at this point, as we just joined the server, we had no intention of pulling off any heist. That comes later. Our only objective right now is to set up our base in the Lopatino Castle. We'd never built on a castle before, so as quickly as we could, we made our way over there. Oh shit, there's a dead player in here. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's fully geared, bro. Oh, <gasps> what the hell? Whoa. He's got so much stuff on him. Really? Shit! Die here. Ah, oh, he's dead. Kill him, yeah. It was him again. Oh, bro. Poor guy, bro. He must have, he must have died to some sort of disease. Yeah. After grabbing what I could from this unfortunate player, I headed away from the coast and made my way inland to meet my friends and quickly get to that castle. But before we could head to the castle, we were going to need all the base supplies if we wanted to fortify it. So for the next while, we looked through every shed possible, grabbing everything we would need. And eventually, we had everything. So, we're gonna skip ahead two and a half hours later. After doing a long loot run and finding everything needed to build our castle base, we ran over. But just like you're expecting, we never did get to build in that castle. And here's why. <coughs> oh my god, bro. Massive base on Lobby you know, Castle. And that's when we first laid eyes on it. The Lopatino Mega Castle Base. We were too late. Another clan had clearly already occupied it and done a lot of building. You tell me what you see over there. Oh well. I'm staying over here. Um, tier 2 door on the front. <sighs> right, let's just get our base down in Zabalotti. Let's scope out for a base location. So, that's what we did. We had no choice but to find another building nearby that we could temporarily live out of and lay low in. And after not too long of searching, we found the ideal spot. It was a log cabin in a small village just south of the Lopatino Castle, where we could live right under the noses of the castle clan. So, we began cutting down trees, gathering planks and logs, and we fortified that log cabin as best as we could. And we finally did it. We fortified a base and all of our loot on the server. But we were left with two options. We could continue to live in this log cabin and simply forget our dream of building this castle base. Or we could do what we planned to do from the very start. And that would be taking over that Lopatino castle, meaning we'd have to steal it from the current owners. But if the server had only wiped just a few days ago, how fortified could it really be? At this point, we were confident we could do this, but at the time, we had no idea how difficult and challenging this heist would truly be to pull off. Now, to raid other group spaces on this server, you're going to need breaching charges, aka C4, and the fastest way to get this C4 is to buy it at the black market trader, costing just under 200,000 rubles, which is not easy money to make, but it's not impossible. 
we knew that our quickest way of making that money was to find and use keys and keycards to unlock loot rooms with high valued items. Then we'd take those items to the black market, sell as much as we can, making the most amount of money and eventually buying the C4 we needed. Black market. You ready? Oh, guy, guy, two guys uh, across the other side of the field. You see them coming towards us? One's fully geared. They're both fully geared. Fall back, fall back into the trees. They might have seen us. One's a full gilly. One's a gilly. Yeah. And this was one of our many problems we faced during the story. Obviously, we weren't the only group trying to make a lot of money, so sometimes we had to fight our way into that black market just to sell, and that was never easy. Oh no, he's seen it, he's seen it, he's seen it. He might be dead. I'm dead. I stopped I for 30 seconds, and like, like half. He'll come back with us, like a Winnie or something. So yeah, I'll come back, because you can get on the other side of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we push across here, Josh, if we push across here, we can get to this big thick tree line. If you want. Okay. So there's not really an angle for him to hold onto this tree line. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see. Hold on, he's moved, he's moved, he's, he's moved. In the, he's in the middle. Five black market, he's got white face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have one more on me as well. I left. One's low. I froze again. One's full dead. Nice. Gilly last. No, Gilly's dead. Oh, no, hey. he's up in the trees near me. Uh, where we came from, Josh? Just saw him. Yeah, I see him as well. <gasps> hit him again, hit him again. Moving left? Yeah, he's moving left now, yeah. He's right now, he's now, he's moving. He's um, further away, he's moving southeast. And is it, is he under running? the power line, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He sees me. Hit, hit him, hit him, hit him. I'm dead, yep. Oh, God. He's dead. He's full dead. Nice. He's full dead. He's full dead. Right, I'll run back. He's gonna come back, bro. They're gonna come back again. You need to loot his friend. You need to loot this guy, then. I'm gonna get Lewis. All the Lewis is loot. Oh, shit. Yeah, this, this Remington as well. Oh, my God. Right, I need to get my stash bag. He didn't even have a Vessex car. So yeah. You good? No, there's people shooting at It's a May. Was it? I think it's a May. He's trying to take me out, bro. <laughs> I was looting the body. I got everything. I'm running. And I have not got a vest. After killing both players, I escaped and sprinted as fast as I could back to our base with so many valuable guns that we could later sell for C4. Maybe this heist might be easier than we thought. I'm dead. That's so bad. I just lost so much. You're joking, right? No, oh, he's not joking. And just like that, all gone. After this terrible death, I looked back at my footage to the last frame before I was killed, and I saw nothing. Maybe you see something I don't, but whatever killed me was not in my view. After this mysterious death, I had to do some further investigating, and I worked out that the only base between my place of death and our base was the Lopatino Castle. And if you don't already know, on this server you can play sleeping bags, and instead of respawning at the coast, you can respawn at your base. So if you were to ask me, my guess is those two people we killed just so happened to be the castle owners. 
and the second one respawned, left his base to return to the black market and luckily ran into me winning all the best loot. But remember, this is just a speculation and I could be completely wrong. Regardless, I was back at the coast with my sleeping bag on cooldown, so I got off that night and I got back on the next morning. The first thing I did that morning was grab myself another gun and then all three of us headed out to do another big loot run in another attempt to make some big money towards this heist. And on my way, I saw the castle again. They're slowly building up that castle, man. Yeah, no. They are really, really building it up more and more now. This is probably one, this is probably the last day we've got to do this because they're really, really building up this castle. That day, we ran up to Tizzy Military Base. We had a key for a locked room, and we brought a shovel for a stash that apparently had a lot of good loot inside. I was already in a bad mood because of yesterday, so I was really hoping for some redeeming loot. This little stash, and then we'll see what we got. Oh, there we go. go. What'd you get? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit of a <clears throat> Uh, you just say it's a bit of a yikes, bro. Yeah. You're taking the piss. <laughs> Helmet and SVD. Anyone have a scope? Mm. No, I don't. I got a suppressor for this thing. Nice. So we left Tizzy with nothing special except for a suppressed SVD which I could now use for fighting other players. But my luck was about to change. Just as we were heading into VMC we got a notification of an airdrop landing on us very soon. Unfortunately another group slipped in and stole the airdrop loot but we managed to kill some other players in the area who were pretty geared. Kill the guy, he's in here. Nice. I killed a guy. Oh I'm dead. He's on my body, fresh naked. He just got one tapped. In between the two containers. I killed him. Yep. Nice. nice. I had a lot of shit on my body. Damn it, I ruined his Emerson. Damn. I need a prone on Oggy's body. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We can't go out the same way we came in, so I'm oh, not talking about this way. Although Oggy was killed, me and Lewis managed to escape with two bags each worth of loot. And at the time, even with what I had, was a lot for us. And eventually, we safely made it back to our base with everything. Within just a day, we turned our misfortune around and now had a base full of loot. And although it was refreshing to have so much loot, most of it wasn't there to stay. Our goal and objective had not changed. We were persistent. And we still had our eyes set on taking over the Lopatino Castle. So the next thing we did was head out to do a massive selling run at the black market and hopefully make some big money. That's a lightning strike. We're just gonna go straight in. Um balls to the wall. I'm oh, no. charging, I'm charging. For Narnia! <laughs> I think it's clear. I'm gonna start selling. Bushaka, 36k already, and I've only sold milk. Holy shit, P Mag, 308 P Mag. Yo, I, I'm, I'm pimping right now, bro. I got 117k, I'm pimping. Alright, I got my cage back up to pris pristine. Boys, I've got um 144k. I got 45. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna go, bro. That's another 200 200k in the bag. Yep. Get out of here. A successful black market selling run without a single gunshot fired. We headed back to base to drop off our money, and that's when we noticed the castle base, which we must not have seen during the night, had expanded a lot more. The challenge they've got with their base, though, is that. 
and, and any base that's got roof access along with ground floor accesses, you've actually got to make double the amount of your... I don't know how that works, you know what I mean? Well, the way they, they're building it is that you have to go through the bottom door. How, though? How are they building that way? Because they're building a massive box on top and you can't read... You can only go through doors, so... Oh, they So why did they leave that gap at the bottom? I have no idea. Maybe they ran out of nails or... I haven't figured out how to seal it off because maybe it's like a little bit like it overlaps with something. I don't know. Uh, right, money, 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 money. Put this away. Let me put some money in there when you're yeah, ready. Two seconds. Hundred and forty three. That brings us to what? Two hundred and fifty? Or three hundred? Three hundred and fifty eight thousand. Okay, so we have about four hundred K ish. Are we ready to scout out the base? Yeah. And off we run to do our final loot run of the day. But before running through the map, we wanted to scout out and get a closer look of this castle base we planned on raiding. Oh, shots. Is that a you? Yeah. Where's that from? I think he's on top of the castle. Yeah, he's in there. He's in that little gap. Oh my where is god. He? Where is he? Where? In the gap, in the gap at the bottom. At the bottom? Yeah. What a little roof camper, man. How did he find us, anyway? I don't oh. know how he spotted you. It's weird. Our first real sighting of one of the castle owners. And after seeing them shoot at us unprovoked from their roof, we had more than a reason than ever to raid these guys. But we also wanted to get one of their names, and Augie made a suggestion to find out. If I try and say in chat, nice roof camping, and see if we can get a reply from someone. Yeah, you should actually. Maybe add in like castle base or something. BGA. Aces XD. I wonder if that's them though. And four shots to the left. That's a black mark, isn't it? Okay, there's two different shots, but that that second shot on the right yeah, is in the black cool. market. Yep. Let's go. See anyone at the trailer? Yeah, um, I think behind the gun, behind the gun one. Yeah, he's holding gun. He's behind the weapons one, the red okay. weapons. I Watch see. Watch this nade. Watch this nade. Watch this nade. Uh, gun left. He just moved. Front, front, front. Bim. Missed. Yeah, I think we clear a black market. You guys down for that? He's moved out. He moved out. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Bottom floor. Bottom floor of the building. Pushing him. Ready to get Follow me. I think it's clear. Clear on this side. Yeah. There's a guy here! Uh, some, someone's close. I know, get, get close. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pushing on your side now, Augie. He's right on the wall against us. He's hit low, he's hit low. Dead, dead, dead. Nice, I'm low, I think. I'm low as fuck. I have the IFAC as well. Oh, on me, on me. Okay, okay, come in, come in. Yeah, he's in the forest, he's in the forest. Yeah, yeah. He just saw us. Hit once. Hit once, he's hit once. I don't see him. Oh, I see him. Hit in the leg, hit in the leg twice. Hit in the leg three times, dead. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we it's need to prone. get a dip. SVD and an AUG. Nice. Do you fully looted this guy here? Even his vest? No, and... I didn't. Oh, yeah, okay. I looted that. Yep, 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 yep. Fully looted. Right, let's go here. Come on. I got 73k off that guy. Fog. Another two kills added to our streak, with more high tier loot that would bring us another step closer to this heist. This was meant to be our last loot run, and we planned to just run back to base and log off. But on our way back, we were interrupted. Gun on left on the train tracks! How close? Pushing me, he's gonna push me really close. Like, it was like 20 meters away. Oh my goodness. He's running two black market. Oh no, there's two, there's two. 
Oh yeah, the one on the left there, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. I'm hit. I'm hit once. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. He's gone far right. One hit. I shot one. I hit him once, but I've got dropped back now. I headshot him. He's got a big gun. He's got a master helmet. They're, they're big guns. Big guns. We need to run. I just hit this guy loads, Josh. I need help, boys. Come, come in, on, come in. Oh, you killed him, you killed him, you killed I him. I killed him. Other one's gonna be pushing from train tracks. Yeah, he's pushing Oggy right here. Dead. Oh no, he's one HP. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Nice, nice, nice. I'm finishing my guy, I'm finishing my guy. I'm finishing. He's dead, my guy's dead. Oh my god, bro. Is it just two, or was it three? Yeah. <gasps> Gen 4 and Masker. <gasps> uh, dude. This guy is fucked. Fucking loaded, bro. Yes, yeah, so there's my guy. We need to go. Must go, bro. This guy is loaded. I'm running. I've got to run. I've got to run. Mind. Go for budding cover. Dude. Bloody hell, man. A fantastic end to the day, bringing us a leap closer to this heist. But we still didn't quite have enough money. You see, our dilemma was that the Lopatino Castle was built to be a very tough raid from the ground up, and we were going to need a lot of C4. Even their front gate alone was tier 2. Um, tier 2 door on the front? Just that tier 2 gate alone would cost us two homemade C4s, and no doubt with the amount of building work they'd done at the top, for sure they'd have at least another three or four more gates at the bottom that we'd need to blow through. It was also getting late that night and we were tired, so we logged off, meaning we'd lost yet another day to pull this off. Anyway, we logged back in the next day and as we expected, the castle group had expanded their base even more. That's so fortified now, I think we've missed a chance. Really needed to do this last night. They have a pink combi. So why have they left this gap here? A sniper out of? Oh my god, yeah. Okay, okay. So let's just do, just keep grinding. Let's just keep grinding and keep making more money. And hopefully we can raid that base. At this point, it was ambitious. But we still had faith that today we could make a bag load of money and pull off this heist. So we spent the next few hours killing any players we saw, looting all scopes, weapons, and anything of value at military bases. And after hours of looting and finding some very saleable items, we headed to the black market to sell everything we could. And with a lot more money, we made our way back to base. Or at least we tried. We're going back to base? Yeah. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit loads. I'm on con. I'm I'm hit as well. I'm, I'm, I broke my leg. I think that I'm, might I'm be dead. a cheater, bro. I don't know where from. <clears throat> bro, he's just broken my leg. I yeah, think I he's a cheater. I think it's a cheater. Yeah, he's in front of us, boys. Is he <laughs> Long story short, it was a cheater. We found that out a few days later and he was thankfully banned. But right now, that didn't even matter. We just lost hours of progress and a lot of money we desperately needed. And every hour or minute lost in progress could cost us that castle raid. And we knew all the money we just died with was crucial. In fact, we were actually on the verge of just quitting right there because we no longer had the patience or the faith that we'd even have close to enough C4 to blow through every gate. Because remember, we didn't just want to raid this base, we wanted to completely overtake the castle. So we just sat back for a couple of hours and just waited. Maybe for some sort of new idea we could pursue or, well, really any reason not to quit the server. But that was until we started reflecting and looking back on this castle base. We looked back on every aspect and angle of this castle until we finally found something we'd completely neglected. So why have they left this gap here? A sniper? And this was our moment of realization. 
that this raid might still be possible. The one thing we overlooked every time we passed this castle was that big gap in their base. And this gap might be the solution to this raid. But the question was, how? Obviously in Daisy, there's no ladders we could build up the side of their castle, and we couldn't build a massive staircase up without taking over their protected flag. So there was really only one option. The most expensive vehicle on the server, the helicopter. If we used all of our money to buy a small enough helicopter instead of all that C4, there was a chance we could slip through that gap and hopefully access everything in their base. It was risky, and if we failed this and lost the helicopter, this mission would be well and truly over. But with Lewis being the best pilot I know, we were confident. So, with new hopes of pulling this off, we went out for the last time that day to make as much money as we possibly could before we attempt this big heist. Hey, him once, hit him once! He's dead. Yep. Yep. Just one more. Me. Oh, no, that's you. Down, mate. 100%. Okay. Running past me. I hit one, I hit one. One full dead. He's hit. hit. He's, He's dead. dead. Oh, dead. mate, I was just literally about to kill him, bro. Oh, I'm hitting him in the right legs. Right. I, I legged him. I legged him. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. The guy in the in the uh, uh, east, 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 straight east. I I legged him. I legged him. I love the guy in the trees. Yeah, I killed this guy. I only no. two guys on me. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, yeah. I see him front door. One's dead. Yeah, nice. Other one's top floor. He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. I think uh, he's dead. I. Hello. That was a guy shooting at the guys in the stairs, I think. Yeah, I see him. Dead. Nice. Oh, sorry. Oh, on the roof, on the roof, on the roof. Oh, shit. Run. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Nice. Good kill. I think he was there. Okay, you can't let them see us go to our base. Yo, look. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> no way. Six. Holy shit. That's huge. Holy hell, bro. Right, let's look at the money real quick. 1.45. That is nuts. Okay, I'm ready to log off. Really good, good, good day, guys. Really good day. Raided. While we were asleep, less than 24 hours before the big heist, everything gone. Now, there's no way of tracing who exactly could have done this. All we can possibly do is speculate. But I think I've got a pretty strong guess who might have done this. Oh, on the roof, on the roof, on the roof. He's dead. Nice. So, what happens next? Actually, nothing changes. This castle was still our target. In fact, we were more prepared than ever to pull off this heist. Because luckily, I made sure to log out with everything we would need to finish what we started. Okay, well, I forgot to hit the record button, but uh, the base got raided, completely wiped out, and uh, we lost everything. Like, we, you know, I, I don't know who yet. Our guess is probably the the guys over at Corona Castle, but yeah, they, they literally just took everything, all storage, 
everything that we didn't log out with. We had to buy this storage thing as well here, so it really does suck. We did lose a lot there, but all of our money, all the C4, this is still on, bro. Now, before we could do anything, we needed to find new sleeping bags to place so we could respawn in our base if the heist goes wrong. So, we headed out to the nearby summer camps in hopes of finding some new sleeping bags. Oh, I've got a blaze! Give me a sleeping bag. Damn it, not looking good, Luth. Not looking great, last one. Ooh, seeds. Oh! <gasps> Shit, it's a hunting bag. <gasps> and a sleeping bag, yes. Nice. One more, one more. We need one more. Eventually, we managed to find Lewis' sleeping bag too, and we headed back to base. But there was another problem. Since the beginning of this story, it's been me, Lewis, and Oggy. But today, Oggy wasn't able to make it. And to successfully pull off this heist, we needed at least three people. So I reached out to a good friend of mine, Locke, to see if he could step in. Okay, Lock is responding. He said 100% booyah. And we were on. Now with three of us ready to do this, it was only a matter of time until this heist would begin. But just as me and Lewis were heading back to base, the worst case scenario you could imagine happened. Whoa. That was a C4? Wait. Was that the castle? I, no, was that lightning? No, that was a C4, bro. I promise you. That was a C4. Hey, hold on. Two guys up on the roof. On the roof? Yeah. Are they on the roof roof? Yeah, they're, they're, no, no, they're on the helicopter roof. Two guys. I, I think it's their base. I don't know. They're on the helicopter roof. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. He just jumped off the... What? He just jumped all the way down, I think. I don't know. Why did he jump down and not die? I don't know, I don't know. I'll show you where these guys jumped off. This guy, he did fall off and die. I think they boosted up with campfires. <laughs> they did! Look at the side of the base! Oh my god! <laughs> That's how they... <laughs> oh my god, bro. Are you being serious? Uh, 100%. They seriously did that. Oh my god. Oh my god, Josh, look up there and look how much storage there is. We're gonna get up there, Lewis. It's gonna be ours soon. We just need luck. Time was running out, and we clearly weren't the only group trying to raid this castle. So we quickly went back to base, placed our sleeping bags, and got Locke kitted up and prepared for this mission. And finally, after days of preparation and tough grind, it was time. First thing on the checklist was to buy the helicopter. So with the money on us, it was time to head to the aircraft trader. All right, we ready? I'm ready. Lock are you ready? Yes, sir, I got it. All right, let's go, guys. We got this. Oh. Okay, I think we're clear, we're clear. Heli bot. Bum, 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 bum. I'm coming. Run. I'm in, go, go, go. We got it, boys. That is one big ass fucking base. Yeah. Okay, just take it real slow, dude, because if you hit the side, this could blow the heli up. Glock, can you see? You need to tell him if he's if he's about to hit that. Yes, you're really close to the wall already. I know I am. But you have to get close. I have to get, get closer. Okay, hold on. We got this? Yes, you look good. Top of the heli is not touching anything. Yeah, I need to get it. You need to move forward a bit. I need to cut it. No, yeah, it's the bottom now. It's the bottom. I see it. What you is should... it? What is it? This the little bottom. platform. No, 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 bro. Move forward. Yeah, see his face. Yeah, There's yeah. A massive gap. 
I'm gonna go back. It's been a little bit fidgety yeah, right now. Yeah, should be okay now. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, squeeze it. Okay. If you get a I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, okay. I'm getting out. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Should I get out? No, 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 you no, no, no. you gotta stay. Go, 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 go down. Go down. Go down. Nice. Oh lock. my god. You guys gotta get out of here. Yeah, we're going. Oh, you're at the you're at the top. You're good. 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 Oh, you're good. I got it. You got Let's go. it. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I got a C4 already. I've just no found way. a C4 in their base. Yeah, yeah. I've got to make this jump across. Oh, that's scary. They have so many planks and stuff in here, bro. There's Gen 4 in here. I need to grab this. There's Gen 4? Holy shit. Oh, bro. That was sick. That was flipping sick, dude. It was. <laughs> I need to fold the sleeping bag right here. They've Both their sleeping bags are here. I've got access nice, to them. Nice, nice, nice. Pack goes off. Nice. And I've got their fence. I mean, I've got access to their, their flag. The flag. Holy shit, bro. Now that I was inside their base, it was time for me to break Lewis and lock him. So I began breaking the roof while they flew off to collect our C4. But we had to be quick because the castle owners could lock in at any moment. I'm almost done breaking this, dude. Come on. Oh, I fully dismantled it. It literally fully dismantled as well. Nice. Are you on? Yeah, we're on. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, we made it. I know, I know. Let's go. We need to get Raiden. Lewis, I'm gonna I'm gonna place a charge on this. You need to place the two charges. Okay, on, on the sheet door? Yep. Okay. Have our mind, have our mind. Nice. Right, boys. Oh my god. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you what there is. I'm not gonna tell you what there is. Oh holy shit dude. So many guns. Loads of guns. M14 DMR. There's an AA12 here as well. Another C14 Timberwolf. FN Scar, like Grenade launcher, one. grenade launcher mag. Oh my god guys, this is loaded. I know bro. AX50 no way, bro. And an M300, Yo, dude, with shit, a mag, bro. I mean, I'm flipping yoink in that. Man, easy raid, bro. Considering we had a whole base wiped out just this morning, we were now booming with loot. But raiding this base was only half of the job. So now it was time to take over the entire castle. First of all, we had to destroy their territory flag and place our own allowed us to place our own gates and code locks so the old owners couldn't get in or out of the base. Then with the base sealed off, we started taking down all of their storage and placing it upstairs in a secure loot room. Now with more than enough storage, we began grabbing everything they had downstairs so we could securely store it away upstairs. Guns, ammo, mags, medical supplies, armor, we took everything we could. Once we moved the majority of the loot, we quickly ran back to our old base to grab what was left of it, and then move it all to our new castle base. Lewis! Oh my god, dude, oh. man. Oh! oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. He's up there no at the tier one way. door. Tier one door, he's freshy. He's only a fresh one, he doesn't have much. He's low, he's low, he's low. I got him, he's dead, I'm down. Nice. nice. Good job, Lock. He had so much money, he had like 322k. Nice. Nice, let's go. Anything else? Just SR25, who is it? Slim Shady, that's his name. Slim Shady, bro. After just managing to kill one of the base owners who must have logged in, we made sure to complete our fortification so that it would be much easier killing the rest of them. But the following morning, the base owner we killed ran back. You hear that? Yep. Mm hmm. Should I talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. Yo! Is anyone down there? Do you hear me? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, bro. Was this your base? Yeah. Uh, how the hell did you all raid us? Did you actually go through the whole base? Don't tell him. I, I, I can't tell you. Yes, I mean, we went through the whole base. Yeah. <laughs> from top, or from bottom to top, you all actually got through it all. It's actually Kind impressive. of. <laughs> So there's a log cabin, right? If you look just to the south, it's in Galkino, yeah? There's like a log cabin? Yeah. Did you, did you guys raid any bases there? No. Oh, you never raided a base? Are you sure? No. Oh. We were gonna raid the shed, but not the little log cabin. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, what? What? what we are gonna take this base. We've taken it over already. We've already got... A flag down. We've got our own gate, a, a, a bunch of our own gates down, you know. But uh, if you guys did log with whatever, I mean, we were planning on just waiting here until you guys log in and then just kill you. But if you guys log in, and you're gonna have to trust us here, we may be able to just let you out. Or, you know, we can just sit here all day and wait for you to log in. And... It's up to you, man. You still uh, there? Let me talk to them. Yeah. Like I said, they're not on right now. I'm the only one that got on just to check the base. So you all have your own helicopter? Uh, yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> so after a while of talking to them, they ended up actually being really friendly, and I kind of feel bad for raiding them. So we made sure to let them all go with all of their money, the gear they had on them, and their helicopter. But we done it. After days of work and determination, we had all the loot we would ever need and enough money to buy more than enough C4 to get our revenge on whoever actually raided us. Thank you guys for watching my first video of 2022. My next one should be out soon, but until then, there's loads of other videos just like this on my channel. Also, thank you so much for the support during 2021. I actually plan to upload a lot more this year, so stay tuned on my socials. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one.